Hey, what's up you guys? It's me, True Brands, back with another video. What's up, what's up, what's up? I just wanted to come in and check in with you guys and do a little impromptu reading, check-in about this energy that's going on right now. New moon in Scorpio, the Taurus eclipse that's building. Um, and I just kind of want to talk about this purging energy that's happening. I'm going to do a reading also because we're just going to tap into the collective energy of what's going on right now. Um, but before getting started, I do want to let you guys know that I do have some new items coming to my store on my website, www.queensandthrones.com. Um, my goddess oils and body potions are relaunching and a bunch of new scents. I'm super excited about that. These are going to be launching this coming Wednesday. And I'm also bringing some new items to my store, which is ritual candles. So I just wanted to show you guys some of the ritual candles that I'm going to be selling. We have Yemenya, we have Adam and Eve, Lover's Candle, I have Oshun, which we know is a fan favorite. We have um, Money Drawing Lucky Candle, multicolored, seven colors. We have Love Drawing Candle. All of these are super powerful. I've tested out the majority of them. Um, we have the Road Opener, seven color. We have Fast Luck. We have Fast Luck Candle. And we have this. This is my all-time favorite, Mr. Money. Um... Don De Niro, Me Honey, Sugar Baby, Energy. This actually is one of my favorite candles, honey. All of these candles will be personally blessed by me before being sent out. Um, and so these will be on my website as well, as well as, well as my um, body potions and oils as well. So I'll just show you guys my body potions. This is my um, Pink Lotus Balm. And this one is Rose Garden Body Potions. I love these. I cannot get enough of these in the shower, y'all. People go crazy over these. So yeah, all of these will be on sale on my website this Wednesday, okay? All right, so let's talk about this energy right now, okay? Um, basically it's a shit show like i'm not even gonna hold you it's a shit show right now um you know the energy is very intense i personally have been purging a lot of old emotions a lot of you guys know scorpios myself know so i always deal with energy from the past during this season and you know people have just been going through it i know you guys have been seeing the posts and things like that but I just think that this is a final clearing that we're going to be going through before going into 2022. Um, you guys know that the South Node is moving into um, Scorpio. So this is kind of just a taste of how things are going to be going for 2022. So it's not over yet. If you guys think, oh my gosh, I'm not feeling this energy. There's more to come in 2022 because the South Node is going to be here. But Keep in mind, the South Node is what we are releasing, right? And what we are realizing basically is toxic in our lives and what we need to let go of. And Scorpio can really be the sign of the ultimate toxicity um, in its negative manifestation, right? Of course, we know each sign has its good side and each sign has its bad side. But Scorpio can definitely have a very very toxic negative side to it you know this is dealing with issues around sex sexual behavior who we're sharing our bodies with who we're sharing our energy with who we're sharing our space with who we're going into business with um scorpio is about secrets you know what skeletons have you been keeping in the closet what haven't you been honest with other people about when it comes to your life, a lot of those things may be exposed during the South Node in Scorpio. Um, also, it deals with money. It deals with other people's money. It deals with loans. It's like, are you able to sustain yourself on your own or are you constantly depending on other people to keep you going? Are you constantly dependent upon other people's resources in order to empower yourself? Because Scorpio is about empowerment. You know, so... 
this month we're being asked to look at where are we being empowered and where are we being disempowered at in our lives where do we feel powerless where do we feel out of control because scorpio has a lot to deal with feeling out of control and control issues um so a lot of things i feel like are going to start happening that are out of our control and we're just going to have to go with it. We're just going to have to deal with it. We're just going to have to detach from it, which is why, you know, we have all this energy in Aquarius teaching us about detachment. It's like you can't control the universe sometimes. There are a lot of things that are within our control, yes, but then there's also a lot of things that we just have to let go and let God. And with Jupiter going into Pisces, I feel like that's the ultimate let go and let God energy and just to have faith that this is taking me somewhere. I don't know the destination. I don't know where I'm going to end up, but I'm just gonna trust that I'm gonna end up where I'm supposed to be. So we're just gonna be learning the ultimate energy of you know, detachment, y'all. That's really the only way to deal with the intensity of Scorpio is just to detach, you know, and have faith. Yeah, so we do have a Sagittarius eclipse that's going to be coming up in December, which I feel like is going to be like that last glimmer of hope that we're going to have along this journey. So you're going to really want to take advantage of that energy. That's going to be what's going to push us into 2022, which I really feel like is going to be a very monumental year. I think 2022 is gonna be a game changer for a lot of us, just cause there's gonna be so much transformation in the air during 2022, you guys. So much transformation. People are gonna go from the bottom from, people are gonna go from the bottom to the top, but then people are also gonna go from the top to the bottom. You're just gonna see extreme changes in fortune is what I'm picking up on. Extreme changes in fortune for the better or for the worse. Um, I personally think Scorpio and Capricorn really work hand in hand as far as karma being deeply connected with Scorpio energy. So, you know, karma is getting ready to pay out and karma can be good karma or it could be bad karma, you know, so we, we really are going to see how things play out. All right. So let's go ahead. Let's pull some cards y'all for, let's pull some cards for what the collective is feeling right now um this is the sacred geometry activation oracle so i know i'm looking very scorpio today y'all I, I did i looked at the playback and i was like oh my god my eyes look so like dark and piercing i'm giving y'all scorpio right now y'all know i have pluto in the first Honey, I'm giving, I'm feeling very Plutonian right now. Oh my gosh. The power of transformation is in the air right now, y'all. I should probably light one of my incense, huh? Let's light one of my incense. We're in the vibes right now, y'all. I'm also burning my, I'm burning my better business candle right now, y'all. All right. All right, so Spirit, show me what energy the collective is in right now. What energy is the collective feeling right now? What is the main What's the main T? What's the main vibe? I got this yesterday um, in a personal reading. It says soul time. It's the number 40, soul time. The frequency of soul time asks us to allow the possibility of a new reality to emerge. One that embraces the concept that while the corporeal body is mortal, the soul is timeless, limitless, and infinite. Can we pause for a second? Because is that not a Scorpio theme, Scorpio lesson? Soul time, the body is incorporeal. I, or the body is corporeal. We know that life comes after death. We know that rebirth comes after death. You, nobody just permanently dies. Something doesn't just permanently die in your life. There's always something new that's born from that death. 
And that's the ultimate lesson of Scorpio. This is why Sagittarius, the big bright light of possibility and optimism comes after Scorpio, the sign of death. Because there's always light at the end of the tunnel. There's always a rebirth. Life always goes on and life always gets better. And I think that's what we're learning right now. And speaking of which, look at my time, time capsule. Time is very, very important to me. I'm somebody, I think time as a spiritual concept is pretty much like one of the ultimate meanings of the entire universe. It's crazy how tied in with time I am. Time, soul time, 40. Okay, what else, Spirit? Show me what else we're going through. Ooh, I've never got this before. Wow, and the next card is 41, Synergy. Synergy, so we have soul time synergy, y'all. This is powerful. Soul time synergy. The frequency of synergy supports our allowance and acceptance of not so obvious, never seen before combinations and unions that result in a new way of functioning, working, thinking, relating, loving, and being. It reminds us to embrace the unfamiliar so that new yet exciting co-creations can give birth to a new reality. So it's given death and rebirth is what it's given. Spirit is like, let go of all the bullshit in your life right now. Even the stuff that you want to hold on to, but you know that's not good for you or that it's holding you back from your evolution. Child, just let it go. Because spirit is just like, you have to trust that there is better on the way for you. And I know I'm talking to somebody out there right now. You have to trust that there is better on the way for you. Just let it all go, honey. Let it all go. Time is on your side. Look, I said time is on your side and we got prosperity, baby. 2022 is going to bring so much abundance with the North Node going into Taurus. It's going to bring, because Spirit is saying the reason why we're going through this soul time lesson is because it's synergizing us for what we said that we really want. All the prosperity and abundance. And let me just be clear. Prosperity is not just money. Prosperity is a prosperity of love, a prosperity of relationships prosperity of family, prosperity of um, work clients, you know, customers, like everything. Abundance encompasses so much more than money. When you think of abundance, don't um, correlate abundance with paper money because it, it goes way beyond that and prosperity. Prosperity is just good luck in everything that you do, regardless of the fact. And that's what we're stepping into. Okay, one more card. Ooh, passion. It's given Scorpio. It's given passion and protection party that we did <laughs> this last weekend. That's what it's given. It's a very passionate time right now. Passion is running high, honey. The frequency of passion reminds us that beneath every intense emotion lies the hidden gem of insight, balance, and calm. It assists us in finding the balance within this intensity, moving us from chaos to the calm of its core, where we can let its long-lasting wisdom fill us up. Ooh, yes. Beneath every intense emotion lies a hidden gem of insight. Is that not Scorpio, baby? Is that not given this whole card reading is given heavy Scorpio prosperity and passion is Taurus and Scorpio keep in mind we have a Taurus eclipse coming up too y'all so honey the Taurus eclipse I'm gonna talk about that too a little later um the Taurus eclipse something a little different I'm gonna go to the love oracle because I've been feeling like a lot of people are going through relationships stuff right now honey summer walker just dropped her album and i love it shout out to summer if you're watching baby i love your album regardless of the fact even if you're in love i feel like you could still enjoy the album because she's just spitting facts and it's like even if we don't feel that way right now we felt that way at some point in our lives <laughs> you know whether it was an ex or whatever honey i can relate to it i love everything that you do can't wait for you to come to the goddess retreat <laughs> Can't wait for you to come to the goddess retreat. I know you're going to be there um, along with other celebrities. All right. So this is the love oracle, guys. Let's just see for the people that are going through heartbreak or going through some type of trans relationship transitions, because you guys got to keep in mind, we just came out of the Libra retrograde and that caused a lot of relationship disruptions. Contract just fell out. Libra rules contracts. 
Spirit saying a lot of you are renegotiating your love contracts. Yep. Look at this. Baby, I don't make anything up when it comes to this reading shit. Love contracts. A lot of you guys are renegotiating your love contracts with people. You're renegotiating what you want. Okay, what how Spirit is showing it to me is a lot of you guys went into these relationship contracts expecting too little of yourself, like not valuing yourself enough. Taurus Eclipse is coming up. So it's like a record deal. It's like you went into a record deal with somebody and only agreed to get paid ten thousand dollars in appearance or whatever the case may be but now your popularity has increased your influence has increased and you're like hold on i need to be getting a hundred k in appearance right my worth has increased my worth has went up so now you are requiring more of your partners that's what i'm seeing with the contracts and love renegotiating your romantic contracts with people um and just being like, hey, this is cool where we're at and all, but I kind of want, I want more than what I'm getting, right? Ooh, dead end. So a lot of relationships are going to be ending right now because you aren't getting what you want out of the contract. You're not getting what you want out of the contractual agreement. So it's a dead end right now. It's done. A lot of relationships are ending or have ended in the last few weeks. Not all. I know a lot of you are still going strong. We're going to get something for y'all too. What else, Spirit? That just fell out of the deck. Synchronicity. Okay. Yep, synchronistic the way this happened. There's a lot of magic in the air right now too, though. Synchronicity communication. So a lot of you guys have been getting messages from Spirit regarding your relationships. And you've been listening and you've been taking heed and it's been leading you to where it is that you want to be and it's been leading you to where it is that you want to go. For others of you, you just may be at a stalemate within your relationship and it's just like until, yeah, because at the bottom of the deck is unfinished business. So until you're able to come to a common meeting ground, like you're on a break, you're focusing on you, you know, like that's just kind of where you're at with things. Some of you, not all of you, like I said, this is just for the, this was specifically for the ones I was going through relationship stuff. Okay, so honey, let's go to, you know what, I have not, I have not done the Kaleidodope deck in a while. Kaleidodope Tarot. I haven't used this one in a while. All right, so let's see y'all. Okay, what's the overall vibes for this Scorpio season and this Taurus eclipse coming up, Spirit? What's the overall vibes? Like, what is it that we need to know at this time in our lives? What is it that we need to know? star card listen to god listen to spirit through this times it's very important that you listen to spirit right now very important a lot of karmic situations are coming up i got the star card and i have the karma card will of fortune so you really got to listen to spirit right now i'm seeing that a lot of karmic situations are coming back around to test you right now in your life a lot of karmic situations queen of swords you have to know your restrictions Spirit is saying, think logically right now, y'all. Don't be caught up in your feelings. This Scorpio energy will try to drag you down into those lower based emotions and you just cannot, you cannot get caught up with that. Remain detached. This is Uranus and Taurus, okay? The Queen of Swords is Uranus and Taurus and, and Saturn and Jupiter and Aquarius. It's like, remain detached. Stay up here in the ethers with me, with Spirit, honey. Just don't even get involved in the karmic mess. If you feel like you're being magnetically pulled back into a karmic cycle, just detach. That's all you got to do, baby. We just don't have time to go around and around in circles again and get nowhere. Like, we just don't have time for that. Just detach, baby. There's more coming your way. The sun card. Okay, focus on yourself, queen and king. Listen, spirit's like, focus on yourself right now. Spirit's like, you got to pour into yourself. Pour into your creativity, honey. 
pour into um, your hobbies, what you like to do. Do more singing and dance. Do more sensual dance. Um, start painting. Create your YouTube channel. You know, spirit's just like, girl, boy. Spirit's like, focus on yourself. Like, just don't get caught up in these karmic cycles. And, um, yeah, spirit also wants you to focus on building your resources, four of coins. Build, focus on yourself and building up your resources for this Taurus eclipse. That's what spirit's saying. Page of wands. Um, don't get caught up in immature games. There's a lot of things that are like kind of immature going on right now. Spirit's like, don't get caught up in the immature games. You just don't have time. You're on your grown man-ish. You're on your grown woman-ish right now. Like, honey, we're building a future. We don't have time for these little petty games that people want to play. We just don't. Okay, let's see what else is going on. Scorpio season, Taurus eclipse. Knight of Wands. So there is a very powerful sexual energy in the air right now. A very powerful sexual energy. Spirit actually wants you to get back in touch with your sacral chakra and your sexual energy. Sensuality, sensual touch. This is literally a yoni wand. If you if you don't have one, you need to purchase one. Yoni wands are coming to my store, by the way. <laughs> That's going to be another thing that I'm selling. Yoni wands. Sensuality, I've been getting that a lot too. This Taurus energy is going to bring in a very sensual vibe, y'all. Sensuality, get back in touch with you. Y'all, I said sensuality and look what I got. They're damn there doing the thing, okay? Honey, tantric, I'm getting tantric sex. Uh, exploring your sexuality, this is a very good thing to do during Scorpio season. You need to buy some more accessories for the bedroom. Do that. Three of Wands. Explore. Get outside your comfort zone. Yes. Explore. Expand your horizons. Right? Y'all need to get back in touch with your body. Spirit's just been telling me, like, people need to get back in tune with, like, their bodies. People also need to get back in tune with sensuality. Go get you some roses, you know? Wear some lingerie, drink some wine, get sexy, dress sexy, okay? Get you some sacral chakra crystals, you know? Like, honey, it's time to awaken that inner passion. It's time to awaken the passion, honey. But it's like, it's giving me like passion for yourself also. Like, it's just like, get to know yourself more. What it is that you like? What it is that you don't like? What turns you on? What turns you off? Like, it's time to really get to know yourself. So, so many people I feel like are closed off when it comes to like sensuality and sexuality. They're very closed off. Like, they don't even know their bodies. They don't know what they like. They don't know what they want. They're not having the big O. Like, it's just not given and it needs to give. We're going into North Node and Taurus, South Node of Scorpio, honey. It's time to remove those um, sexual blocks. A lot of people have a lot of sexual blocks, honey. Um, okay, Page of Swords. A lot of you are indecisive right now about something. A lot of you are indecisive right now about something. Yeah, High Priestess, you need to listen to Spirit. Spirit is saying a lot right now, you guys. You need to listen to Spirit. I'm also picking up the energy of cutting off distractions. A lot of you guys are distracted by social media. You're distracted by what's in the news. And Spirit is saying right now is just to take the time to listen and commune with the cosmos. This is the High Priestess. It's the time to commune with the cosmos and hear what God is telling you. That's what eclipse season is really about. What does God want you to get rid of in your life? What does God want you to put to rest in your life for good? You need to listen and you need to listen very clearly because whatever it is that you release and you let go of, it's, it's going to leave space to bring you a lot more pleasure. Honey, spirit, let me just tell you guys flat out. Taurus Eclipse, Spirit is like, y'all need more pleasure in your life, sweetie. Like, I'm sorry to say, 
a lot of your guys' lives are very dry in the pleasure department. And it doesn't matter if you're in a relationship or not, sweetie. It's just like, it's not, enough, it's not given enough fulfillment. We come here to enjoy ourselves. We come here for earthly pleasures. Taurus, it's like, we come here to fulfill the, the senses. You know, Taurus is a hindonist. So it's like, a lot of you are just not enjoying, you're not enjoying your bodies enough. You're not in your body enough. That's another thing. You're not even well acquainted with your body. So honey, it's the time to love on yourself. That's just what I'm seeing. It's the time to love on yourself. Self-love is a huge theme right now. Self-passion also. Self-passion and self-love are the themes right now. Okay, so then let's see what lessons. We're going to go to the astrology deck. And we're just going to see. We're going to see what lessons are needed right now. From an astro astrological perspective. I love this deck. Okay. Ninth house, learning. This is more so learning from spirit though. You guys need to open your ears. Spirit is like literally open your ears up to hear the truth. You're not hearing. I don't know why Spirit's just giving it to me like that. Spirit's just like, you're not hearing what's being said to you right now. Open up your ears. Cut off the distractions. Spirit is saying a lot right now. I also got fifth house, Leo. Pleasure. Y'all, pleasure. Okay? Spirit wants you to enjoy yourself more, y'all. Y'all, it's time. These are two fire houses, ninth and fifth house. It's time to expand your life. It's time to enjoy yourself. Focus more, less stress, and more uh, pleasure and enjoyment. Okay? Sensuality. These two, this, these two eclipses coming up is actually going to bring more enjoyment into our lives. Taurus and Sagittarius. That's Venus and Jupiter. The two benefits. Spirit's like, it's time for you to start enjoying life. Like, period. And just to enjoy it. Earth lessons. Just to enjoy it. A lot of you are too stuck in like survival mode and I got to work to make this money and I got to work to do this and I got to make this much money this year. And a lot of you are too stuck in work mode and you're not in enjoyment pleasure mode enough. And it's given boring. It's giving a boring life. It's what it's giving. I'm sorry to say you're too stuck in getting to the bag. You're too stuck in that. This Taurus eclipse, it's a lunar eclipse. So it's telling you to get rid of that workhorse mentality and have some fun. Look, work came up. I said y'all work too much. Didn't I say that? It's like you're working to die. It's like, no, we work in order to have enough money to enjoy ourselves and have a good time and to travel the world. A lot of you guys want to travel. A lot of you guys want to take trips. Book that vacation, baby. Sagittarius um, solar eclipse coming up. Book that trip, go on vacation, pamper yourself, baby. The Taurus eclipse is gonna show us it's okay to indulge a little bit. Like Venus, love, pleasure, enjoy yourself. Taurus is a big self-love energy. We have to enjoy ourselves more, you guys. Okay, stop limiting yourself. Stop worrying so much about making all this money and, and trying to be so successful and all this other stuff because I'm going to tell you, life is passing you by. Time is passing you by, right? A lot of you have already learned your earth lessons of how to make money and how to run a business and all those other things, honey. It's time to have fun, Fifth house, Leo, baby. It's time to have fun. And it's time to invite love in your life. This doesn't have to deal with the relationship. This could be self-love as well. You know, it's just time to, because this is the thing, when you are enjoying yourself and you're having fun and you're doing things that you love, that magnetizes more love into your life. That's how it works, you know? So, honey, that's the lesson of the, the, the Taurus Eclipse, baby, is to be more pleasurable. 
Okay, and if you don't have anyone that you're being pleasurable with, be pleasurable with yourself. Create the environment. You want romance in your life? Create a romantic environment. Go buy some fresh roses. Make it make it romantic. Date yourself. You know, date yourself. You ain't got to wait for nobody, but it's about feeling good now. That's what Taurus is about. Feeling good, being in your body, being present. Being open to life's pleasures and what life wants to bring you. Being magnetic. You're not going to be magnetic if you're stressed out all the time and always working and always serious and always, how am I going to get to the bag? How am I going to make more money? How am I going to do this? How am I going to do that? Baby, just let it go. Let it go. Go have some fun. Let your hair down. Get a little wild. Get a little loose. Have a drink or two. I mean, I don't know. Something. Give me something, baby, because it's given the collective is very much giving me boring is what it's giving me. And to those of you out there that are living your best life, you need to tell your fellow brothers and sisters how to turn up, how to have a good time. And turning up, y'all, turning up doesn't always have to be partying and drinking either. Like I said, it could be going on vacation. It could be going to take a staycation, go to a hotel. You know, stay there for the weekend, you know, go to the spa, you know, go sit out in um, nature and have a picnic with your kids. You know, like it could be simple stuff. It doesn't have to be things that cost a lot of money. I know Taurus is an expensive V. She's luxury, but you can create your own luxury and you define what luxury is. Not anybody else. What's a luxury for you? If it's just going out and getting some ice cream and just enjoying that, going to a wine bar. You know, and maybe work on some stuff there, but like do it at a wine bar, you know, where you can have a good drink, listen to some good music, things like that. Okay. I can give you guys ideas all day. I'm Venus and Taurus, baby. I got ideas. So yeah, you guys put down below what you're going to do for your pleasure principle. Cause honey, that's what we're going into. Let me know what your favorite pleasure principle is, what your favorite pleasurable pastime is. And let me know what you're going to be doing to tap more into this Venusian, Taurian, Sagittarian energy to expand your life and welcome in more good vibes. Okay? Thank you guys so much. If you want to book a reading for me, I'll put all the links down in the description box to book with me. Um, and yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Sending you lots of love. Take care.